it together. This is a chat stream about entomology, about science on insects. And today we are making this translation of this video chat between Turkish Republic and this is Akif Suna. And I'm just owner of this uh, video channel, Viktor Fursov from Ukraine. So this is Turkish Ukrainian cooperation and talk about entomology about insects, maybe another invertebrates, about animals which are living outside of our house in springtime. So spring insects, spring invertebrates, this is a subject, maybe a different one. So because now it's uh, going to be warm, uh, even in Ukraine it was very cold and today is raining in Kiev. But what's about weather now in Eskishihir? Uh, it's sunny mostly. All week. Oh, you are very lucky yeah. because it's uh, cloudy cloudy and raining outside mm. of my balcony yeah bad but, for uh, you. but insects uh, may be already not sleeping mm. they're already not overwintering so they wake up woke up woke up after sleeping and now we're crowding we're running we're flying yes, and sometimes they're er everywhere they're everywhere. So, Akif, what insects did you find the first in this spring, for example, hmm. outside? Uh, it was the answer what, what? today. Parasitoid. Yes, one. outside. Just where? On tree, on plant? Yeah, on a tree. On a tree. Oh, I see. You're very observative. Your eyes very, very looks like a microscope. <laughs> yeah. So like a binocular. Yes, this is a good idea because once uh, near Ankara, I found one egg parasitoid on stem from Celeonide, Proctotropidus. And it was very, very small, about uh, one millimeter. But uh, bark of tree was very smooth, so these insects were crawling, crawling around in the springtime and searching for eggs, for hosts. So your insertivity was also was sitting. Yes. Sitting on tree? Yes. Oh, well, may, maybe it just hatched, hatched, emerged. So today we will exchange by some videos. And I show my first video, this video, very funny firebirds, and they are just very common when we thirst, we are coming in the springtime. We call them uh, the soldiers or gendarmes or firebirds, because they do like very much sun, sunshine. Are they common in the Turkish Republic? Yes, they are everywhere too. Like oh, one tree. Right. Yes, every... yeah. They're a big community. Crowling, crowling. Yeah, hundreds of them. Right. And how do you call them in a Turkish language? Uh, I don't know actually. Maybe Ateşbuji, like firebug. Firebug. I see. We call them sometimes mostly soldier bug. Soldier bug. I also want to show one insect which came to my kitchen and probably also outside, but living in my kitchen, not outside. And this is a small pteromalide. Pteromalide and this small pteromalide genus Lariophagus. Lariophagus distinguendus. Just only one millimeter size. One millimeter size. Mm, about three, four, five species of different pteromalide can come parasitize on anobie the beetles, wood beetles in kitchen. Mm -hmm. So Lariophagus, pteromalus, anisopteromalus, and they, and this female is crawling on bread and searching for larva or pupa of anobie the beetles, wood beetle. 
So the, we can call it entomophagus beneficial insect. Yeah. Can destroy our pests. I think most of the parasitoid wasps are beneficial, right? So, or yeah. maybe we're just indifferent. We have no, we cannot understand till now the influence. We don't know. In many cases, we don't know who is the host. We can ca collect insect yeah. like this small one, one millimeter, but we don't know host because it needs what as I said, Microscope observing. on eyes. Yes. Observing very carefully. Let's show Akif your insects from Turkish Republic. Okay. Did you find something? Yes. Because it's springtime, so everyone is coming. So you just upload. Yeah, I'll show this answer today. I found. Ah, I see, I see. Ah, right. Ah, yes, I understand. Just I need, I need to click because I'm the host. So yes. Wait a minute. Because this, it's a little bit freezing. I, I guess. I don't know. Maybe not enough my memory in computer to. Send it quickly. Yeah, I can't see right now. Because I became frozen. Yeah, you are frozen. You are still, too.
Okay. <laughs> okay, let's start again. Okay. I'm not sure if something happened with computer. So, the page still open the same, but computer was frozen. So I started again. So, okay, so now we need to upload video one by one. So, send you your video and uh, we will talk about insects, which we found now in the springtime. Okay. And I send my, my video as well. So we started first from Firebug. Now you send insert the bug. Yes. Very typical, very in funny antenna. Yeah. And inserted is a jumping very much. Yes. We like very much jumping. Yeah, they're so active. And inserted has a special spine horn. Yes. And it sends that it horn can help to jump. Oh, I didn't know. If you can notice horn on uh, femur on tibia. On tibia long horns, so we can help them to jump from from the ground. And also we have a structure of a thorax, so a thorax also moving like this. When we are jumping, when we have a muscles, so and we change the shape of thorax, and it also helps to jump. Okay, my round so. So oh, they okay. jump instead of uh, flying. Right, yes, to escape the danger. Mm. To escape danger. I showed my Pteramalide because I have two species of Pteramalide, one species at home and one at laboratory. So don't mix them. So very interesting. But now I show B, which is also very common, yes. very common in the spring and summertime. They are not here yet in Turkey. An antidium, I guess, antidium. Mm. Antidium. Megachilide beta bees. Carpenter bees. bees. So collecting pollen on the downside of abdomen. And here sitting inside uh, a glass tube, just for recording. But also they like to fly and stop, and they're making like an observation of their area. Yeah, know. like in a helicopter. Yes, uh, uh, two ma uh, different males, we have territorial behavior. They're searching for behavior on their territory. and. And flying around. And if another male is coming, so we're becoming aggressive and kick the male outside from their territory. It's interesting. And now, and now this insect I found in yellow pen traps. Columbola? Yes, spring tail. Columbola. So we have this structure for jumping. And sometimes we are very common in the ground. Yes. So if you put yellow pen traps, they're attracting to the moisture, to water. So many of them will jump and fall down inside yellow pen trap. Just with no big trees, just on short grass, but they will come outside of ground and jump, 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 and many will come to yellow pen trap. Size about one millimeter and less. And you see different species. Yeah. One is small and yellow, very big one. What's down, down is this one, very big one. <laughs> With long antenna. So they are windless 
Windless animals. Windless yeah, creatures. Live in snow too. Some they species. Yeah, one species. Oh yeah, and very tiny. Very tiny, just flurry. Okay. Send your send your videos. Okay, and this is all right. So you know the family? Yes, uh, it's the signal fly. You know why? Probably, I'm not sure, but it looks like Tefriti there. Yes, yeah, similar. Quite similar. Oh, Rel similar. Rel relative of Tefriti. Like Tefriti with this. Special yeah. coloration. I'll search here. Feeding on on water, searching for water. Okay, got my round. I search for my video, and now I show some larry, some larry of. Aquatic, aquatic flies. Oh, it is platic so matty day. The fly. The family? Yeah, platic so stomati day. Platic stomati day. Platic stomati day. Yeah. And this family is aquatic flies. This is a stratiomide. Stratiomide flies. And the, on the right side, the back, black color, these are eggs. Eggs of a stratiomide flies. Near and from eggs, this larvae just hatching. Mm. Larvae is hatching and drop, fall down in water or in soil. So by eating some rotating soil, rotating plants, and aquatic dust, some kind of dust. So the larva has a head, head and segmented body. And there is there are some egg parasitoids of stratimide because these flies were making many eggs just on aquatic plants near water on the surface between water and plant. Here just wet plant, so they touch some mm. eggs just on, so larvae just fall down fall down just to water and some parasitoids coming crawling here and attack these eggs so we have several several species of parasitoids can be found but unfortunately from this many larvae came and no parasitoids came yeah. So larvae is very specific. And for example, th these flies also came to yellow, uh, okay, to yellow pen traps. This is a trichogrammatide. <laughs> but we don't know biology. I collected also, it's also near water. So I can suggest that this is parasitoid of aquatic insects. We're very, very big ovipositor. More or less, uh, not very common. I collected several individuals in wet places. So this is, you can say, a rare species and big one. So host, host eggs should be big, about one millimeter or bigger than one millimeter. So very special wind structure, venation, short antenna, and body is black. So this species is very special, very, mm. very good, well visible, but also about one millimeter with strong ovipositor.
So maybe needs ovipositor to penetrate plant. So maybe egg is hidden somewhere. We say, uh, I suggest in an aquatic plant, may in or in soil, but obviously near water because I collected in in Turkish Republic and in Ukraine this individual just in near the pond or just I put yellow pen traps just on water near near the ground and water so we came just here near water mm. so very interesting so it will be very good interesting to find biology of this species yes. uh, very uh, genus Hetostrichella Hetostrichella just are you all right on the right side Hella. Yeah, this genus. Yeah, so this is Trichogramatida. Yeah, I will try collecting them to near water. Maybe I can find. And also very large, very large. You see, wings and with hetation. And and body is shining. Body is shining and black. So very, very special. Well visible. Okay, I show something else. Next one. But biology is very interesting to find biology. Who is the host? So this is a, will be new discovery. And here will be some flies and these are legs legs of flies legs very un unusual yeah interest so yeah leg and uh, femora and also tarsi tarsi with special appendages this is a family dolichopodidae Dolichopodidae, so interesting structure. This is a head, antenna. They are predaceous flies. They are usually running very fast on sun, sand. Yeah, so predaceous, and they are very active. Very active. They are usually eating some small insects like calambola or very small flies. And this is very unusual legs. Yeah, genus Hercostomus. Hercostomus. I just write. Hercostomus. Okay, I show. Yeah, this one. Uh, thank you to Alexei who just joined us. One person is here who is beekeeper from Ukraine. Alexei watching us. We're flying very quickly. So I studied these flies in university when I was in university. So that's why I described several species with my professor when I was in university and, and later. And Arista, very special eyes and you yes. see antenna is very funny. It's really interesting. This was the first record of this fly in Turkish Republic. Nobody didn't collect. Maybe, I'm not sure, maybe it is still not recorded in, and here, uh, genitalia. This is a male. This is a male. Okay, one person is asking to join us. We can try. And try. Give a link. Give a link. Link is here.
Yeah, so, and also genitalia is used just for identification. So, mm. just to put them in a potassium oxide, hydroxide, and then clean uh, genitalia and then study. All legs are very normal, but first legs very unusual. It's probably a you know, very special structure to catch to catch yeah. female or for identification. For identification, this is I am. This is my species. For recognition, one species is different from another species. Okay, let's show you animals and also with many horns, very unusual special horns. Okay, just a second. Oh, very funny, very funny animal. Okay, we know this is a, just I will write. Rover beetles. And there's that mite on it. Yeah, well, not very big. This many species, uh, very tiny. Yeah. Some uh, some stuff you need can be big, up to one centimeter, maybe even bigger. But many, very very tiny. And they do like very much um, wet places, wet places and soil. So between plants and soil. Okay, good. And I show something else. Oh, wait. Okay, share. I search for new plant, new animal. I wanted to show you just a minute, second. Oh, yes, this is, this is a very special experiment. Yes, uh, not very humanic, humanistic, but here you see dead, dead insect, dead grasshopper. This is a special experiment. It is possible to take one insect, female, like, for example, a grasshopper or some kind of beetles, kind of beetles like wood beetles, big size beetles, like uh, living inside wood. Open the body and put eggs of female just on paper. And you see here, I open body of a grasshopper, put on paper, and I can expose these eggs outside in the nature. Maybe just for one night, one night a morning. And the smell, the smell from these eggs will attract parasitoids. Mm. This is a this is a special attraction trap. Some eggs will die because they are not uh, mature. They are not mature and not very strong. But some eggs are no, already normal before oviposition. So they are more, more or less strong. Even though the shape will be not flattened. The shape will be normal. So if I expose these eggs outside, on, attached to the plant, somewhere in nature, just for night, just for one night, no more. Because if uh, for longer period, some predators will come, like ants, mm -hmm. and will eat it very easy. Or oh, some other insects. But parasitoids coming, 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 morning time, maybe evening time, and parasitize. So I collect this piece of paper with eggs, put it in a tube, in a box, just in a box, in a glass, and wait. What is what's coming? So. And sometimes it's possible to rear the parasitoid from egg. So this is a unique experiment. Unfortunately for this female or grasshopper, I didn't collect parasitoids. But I just tried. Tried to make the experiment. 
because uh, this was a difficult experiment. Sometimes if you put these eggs, okay, predators will eat it. And it was long time to go to collecting place. So when I was coming in, coming back, so I found nobody. So no parasitoids was coming. But and also grasshoppers they lay eggs also on plant, or inside plant or in underground. So maybe these eggs are laid inside inside plant. I am not sure. But if insect will lay eggs on, on the plant or just under the bark, eggs usually very strong, very strong. They will not die for one night. And they attract parasitoids. This is very interesting. So that's why this is a very special experiment. Yeah. So we, I say this is uh, this is egg trap, egg parasitoid trap. Like this, I would say. And I one, I learned it from one ex, one biologist, one entomologist could put eggs of not a lateride, uh, eggs of wood beetles on bark of uh, on bark of uh, tree just near the ground near the ground eggs of uh, a lateride wood beetles big size beetles so he cut it the body and eggs were about size of about one millimeter one millimeter and egg parasitoids were coming and parasitizing and five, six egg parasitoids, specimens, individuals, five, six, just hatched from eggs. So it was very unusual. It's difficult to expect because if you take eggs from body, you think they are dead, mm -hmm. but they're still alive and they're fresh. They're very fresh. So parasitoids come in and attack these fresh eggs. And also, it's possible to make also with a Lepidoptera, but with a big, big Lepidoptera, for example, and with big beetles, like Cerambicida beetles, maybe, or Elateride beetles, some big size beetles. Okay, let's show you your animals. No, no, oh, yes, yes, coming. All right. These are very common also. Yeah. In springtime. I'm not quite sure of the uh, family name. It's Ma Malachine, I think. Malachine. Yeah. yeah. We say it in a Russian Malashka. Mm, and some family. And it looks like a male with long antenna. Yes. With uh, appendages. Some appendages. Okay, let's show. I I search for another insect. Ah, oh, you you send one. Just come in. New one is coming. And here I show this was a kind of a steppe, steppe region in in Turkish in Ankara. Very typical steppe region. Some hills and dry places. 
with these beetles, with bees, with these solitary bees, as I showed, Antidium. These solitary bees like these plants of a labiate family. Yeah, yes. So these are probably the same mega helide. This fine. And I show next one. Next one I already showed, but still, because we had an interruption, I show this B again. So, and some insects lay eggs also, some grasshoppers lay eggs inside these plants because we have a soft, soft stem. We have a soft stem, so. We use soft stem to lay eggs inside the stem. Yeah, this this bee was fly, flying and even making a noise. They also come in house. Mm, yeah, sometimes when we're living in some in holes. In, in no, no, in I holes. mean like. Uh... It's three times it came to my house from window. All oh, right, because we are flying very, very fast. Yes. Uh, so we missed the way. We lost the way. So we were searching and we didn't see window. So we just lost the way and came to your house. Okay. One person is trying to send us video but we cannot open it okay we can write welcome one person from Azerbaijan trying to connect but I cannot see cannot see you cannot see you Okay. Okay, show your your round your animal. Right. This is interesting. Now well, this was something special special. Spider is running. Spider, but there's a larvae on it. Can ah, very tiny. Yeah, it's the Inomonix wasp larvae. Ah, and boy, on just on the body. Mm -hmm. Ah, yes, 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 here. Just between thorax, between and body. Yeah, very tiny larva. Mm -hmm. But larva is growing very fast. Usually two or three days and larva is becoming very big. So uh, also, the spider was so tiny. All right. So was tiny. Extremely tiny. Tiny parasitoid. Yeah. So, yeah. So, a pneumonid fly was very small species. Did, did you rear the parasitoid or not? No, I didn't collect it. So, escaped. So, a spider escaped. Because if you collect it, put it in a in a in a small glass inside small glass probably larva will pupate in two three days and then pupate and from pupa maybe after three five days one week parasitoid can come yeah i will try next time and yeah, maybe we'll show be. you yes yeah, so so this is a spider with parasitoid larva of parasitoid Oh, wait. I just yeah, like this. So I can I can regulate this uh, 
A written, yeah. written message, written message. Okay, let's try. I show try, try to send me. Yes, right. Okay. Video. I search for a new one. Come, 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 come. I search in for new video. And here I show you when I was sitting in this place with plants. So this is a steppe region, steppe hills near Ankara. So this was about maybe June. So, but in Turkish Republic is usually very hot, so plants becoming dry very quickly. But even these are dry places, some plants not dry, not dry, so good place for collecting. I put on this hill some yellow pen traps. Yellow pen traps mm, for one, two days. One, two days because, but yellow with water, with salt and detergent. And also I use the sweeping net for collecting on these plants. And also collected some seeds, some seeds of plants on this stepper, stepper area. So some seed feeding, calcid wasp were emerged from seeds, and also some insects were falling down inside yellow pen traps. Mm. So it was Seven very typical. Area. So yes, very typical stepper area. Dry place. Yes. So you, you around? You can show. In Eskisehir, there are a lot of places like that. It's similar. I see. To I see. But it was interesting that it was more or less in center of city, not yeah. far away. It's a touring oh, day. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Looks like a male. How is female? Yes, so this one is female, the other one is male. Yes. I separated them. Looks like megastigmus. By the green one. Um, um, girls. I still have some torimide from uh, rose of rose of fruits. They're still coming in my mm -hmm. laboratory even now from rose of fruits. Your your rose of fruits didn't have. Yeah, I didn't. Mm, have. Not yet. Mm, maybe place to place are different. Mm -hmm. I collected fruits in different places. In, in, in different boxes, in different jars. So we hatched maybe from one play, place. And out of the box, no, no insect. Yeah, I should have done that too. I collected from one place and they didn't come. I see. So we... Uh, we have a quest from Nature Elm. Uh, uh, what kind? Okay, said, what? Uh, where can I... Car find carpenter bees, like where, which places they live. Mm. What kind of place? Carpenter bees, bees. They live in usually near places with a dead, with dry, dead wood, like in okay, like in a village. In a village, everywhere just the wood. <laughs> if you have just some places with stems, 
with stems of plants just near your house or just in a forest. So we will live in some making holes of carpet and bees inside these trees. Sometimes dead, dead old trees living inside uh, forest or wood, maybe for certain reasons. So we're making holes in this wood. Or in a village, we're doing it in some wooden walls, wooden parts of uh, houses. Sometimes we're destroying small some some wooden play pieces of houses in a village so sometimes people not very happy about them mm -hmm. but i didn't see them near houses usually somewhere near in in the nature because we can find these holes everywhere in some old trees near old trees this is usually the common area for living because we can only attract them if we're making wood near house so we attract them okay i i can try to find yeah, mine okay all uh, oh, right here yeah, it's connected all right I see. I showed this this animals carpenter bees is like like I made this artificial nest. This is yeah, artificial for nest. Osmia. Yeah, for Osmia. One is also we've already closed. You see. So we made a door. This is a door. Uh, someone is a uh, one person is asking like a uh, like bad is a uh, real talpa real talpa dangerous for humans you know this is a special orthoptera orthoptera insect real talpa dangerous for humans i say no then not dangerous like no No, no, no. Yeah. So, and now Osmia were flying in in sunny days. In sunny days, we were very active. Two species, two species: Osmia rufa and Osmia corni corniculata. Corniculata. One is a big species, and one is smaller. So and later maybe in June, July, I will open it and look for pupa and also look for some parasitoids because this, ah, you see, female came because this is uh, artificial nest, so I can split it, I can open it. So it's here many pieces. When I open it, so I can select cocoons. And keep them separately then for winter and some parasitoids will come through small crevices small tiny places of wood they will come inside some monodon tomerus some eolophide melitobia fly parasitoids eolophide so torimide with lawn ovipositor will come and try 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 to lay eggs inside inside cocoons uh, to find larvae inside this artificial nest yes so so this is also like a collecting collecting trap trap for parasitoids and for 
attracted nest for Osmia bees. Some mega helidae is coming. Okay. Naturalm, Naturalm is trying to connect us, but with no success. I don't know. He's, He's asking another question, by the way. How, how long one? have you been an entomologist? He's asking. Uh, good, good question. <laughs> good question. After, after coming to university, I already became entomologist. So after university, I already entomologist. So I have professional experience of a professional entomologist. 36 years, three and six. Good enough time. Three and six. Yeah. So, but this is not a limit. It's not a limit. <laughs> okay. So, okay, search. Okay, look for your animals. Osmia nest. Okay. Artificial special con yeah. yes. All right, good animal. Add to stream. Well, this tiny Welcome braco braconida. It looks like a El Elfarine, maybe. It looks like a parasitoid of a, um, beetles under the bark of trees. Oh, it might be different. A very interesting body. Yes. Um, very bright. Very bright color. Okay, so my 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 round. It's your turn. I search. This is like in a British pub. People come in to drink a beer in a pub, and we say, "Your round." You so you pay for you and friends, and then uh, next person will say, "This is your round. You go." Okay, I already showed. It. Because we had an interruption, I show this Teramalide again. I, I write the name. This is a Mario Fagus. Fagus. In Guyandus. Teramalide. So here in this program, easy to make a label, label to show to show the label, and also but needs uh, to be careful to regulate the voice, the sound. So if somebody is talking in message, we can stop message, click on on voice, click on voice. Naturalm is trying to connect us, but devices are not connected. Device is not connected. Naturain, sorry about you, but I'm not sure why you are not connected with us. Maybe some internet problems. I don't know why you are not connected. Maybe it's about device. It's that device device is not, not connected. Maybe device is a different one. Cannot connect. And so he, he's trying to connect, but I, I see his small picture. But device is not connected. So maybe it's interesting. Some some devices has a, like a special program, maybe. Need special program for connection. Okay. Let's search for a new one. Because I have a separate folders with any insects. Come, 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 come. Ah right, I show you again. This is a big size. Ah, uh, right, and also, I also show you trichogramma in separate folder. 
this is again will be larry of Argos. so big size which is crawling for anabide search for stegobium search on bread This could be all. It does cost. All right. Yeah. Biscuit beetle do like biscuits and bread, dry bread. And interesting that even I should make a strong light, strong light on this parasitoid. Sometimes female is very active and so devoted to search for host. She is not jumping. She's not flying very fast. Can jump a little bit jumping. And I found it in a kitchen. So in kitchen, one species, as I said, live in my kitchen and another species in laboratory and then uh, from uh, without microscope were very similar it needs to check them only under the microscope uh, one is plariophagus one is a pteromalus there are the what are the uh, differences under microscope like what are you under microscope easy even with with no microscope the shape of body abdomen is a long one and then the next one is flattened and also male is different one male is a black color and uh, this is lariophagus and pteromalus black but with a white stripe with white stripe so two colors on body so male is different Okay, I, I found folder. Ah, Mark, wait, wait, no, different. This one. Biscuit beetle. Ah, this is a host. And, all right, yes, I can show you. This, uh, this kind of beetle. I showed them. This, this is a biscuit beetle. Yeah, here uh, in a petri dish. These beetles they do like light very much. So they are attracted to the light. So that's why they are crawling very fast. If I turn uh, the dish, they will come to light again. The gobium panicellum. But there are two species, one stegobium and one is one is tobacco beetle and one is a bread beetle. Very similar. And this is a This smaller size biscuit beetle or same name drug story beetle. Okay. We have another question from Nature. Yes. Lab. Will we need entomologists in future? Uh -huh. Good question. But where do you see the question? Because I do not see it. How it's in the private chat he said in private chat hmm interesting i cannot see here where is private chat like it's uh next to comments oh. next to comments banners brand ah yes i see private chats yes i didn't notice with this private chat all oh, right here some speak ah he is writing in in the turkish yeah 
in Turkish language. I see, because he is from Azerbaijan. Oh, so good question. Good question about entomologists. So, I guess uh, so many specialities you know, for humans and entomology is one speciality will, will exist when humans exist because insects were older than humans you you we can consider so humans should study insects yes. insects uh, live more than one me hundred million years 100 million years can not like say, dinosaur can we say but, nature is depend on them so we are also depend from insects yeah. so humans dependent from insects and all nature plants interconnected with insects yeah pollinating pollinating destruction of wood also so we're eating wood we're eating animals we destroy animals so we're pollinators so and also even some species we can destroy plastic Poly, poly, mm. polystyrol, polystyrol. I, like I showed you, the Zophobus beetles. This is a big, big larvae. You remember? Yes, I remember. So we also can destroy plastic. I had some experiments. We easily destroy plastic. We do not destroy one hundred percent, but at least we are just eating, eating plastic. <laughs> And uh, destroying plastic on small pieces, small, because plastic now is everywhere. We say yeah. even in ocean on five thousand meters below the ocean, under 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 water, five thousand meters in Marian in Atlantic Ocean, so very deeply. So. Entomology is an important profession, I guess. But this uh, profession needs inspiration. Because without inspiration, this is will be very boring. This in this profession, person who likes insects, who likes biology, usually have an inspiration. But not all scientists know uh, they have inspiration and some scientists and some people mm, have a, a very narrow view of the what we can see. Some people can see only very narrow, yeah. but insects so many, so we can open our mind, open eyes, so you can see larger view, because insects we will hear here, and we have a very different morphology, and we have a different biology. And behavior so this is opportunity to know more about nature so the same we can say about birds about animals animals were near us so insects also near us and so profession of entomology will be important in the future so obviously so good question Oh, one person is asking us to add some subtitles for trans after translation. Uh. Oh, wait. Yeah, wait, I can write. To write some subtitles. To write subtitles is difficult because you need to follow the whole story and to write subtitles. So it's easier to learn English because because sometimes I like to watch some videos in Japanese YouTube, but Japanese you we speak only Japanese. Most people they do not speak English, so. Unfortunately, so 
That's why some people can take advantage to listen us in, in English. No other private questions? Did you check? Mm, no. no. Not now. Private, private chat. Not already when it was written something in Turkish. I cannot read. What means Kisacha Yani? Kisacha Yani? Shortly. Ah, shortly. I see. He asked and what, what doctors say. And I said, like, we need uh, entomologists all the time. And right. We will, uh, we will need. We will need. Very good. Absolutely. And I write, let's learn. English. I write, let's start to learn English. <laughs> in Russian, I wrote it in, in Russian language. Yeah, also you made a video about uh, learning English is important in science. Yes, sometimes I try to make inspiration for people. Because yes. sometimes people don't know why we need English. Why we need English. But in general, of course, if you have time and possibility, some money, some money, Money and time and wish, wish, person can learn not only English, can learn other language. Languages are very different. So German, French, Japanese, Spanish. So it, if you know one language, you can speak with people in some countries, with another language in other countries, and to read literature. Read in it, it. This is very important. All right. One person said uh, difficult, not difficult to understand. Okay. No problem. No problem. We speak not very fast. We speak now very simple English. Yeah. How we say it? this is a table. This is a bug, this is a beetle, and this is a butterfly. So, very simple. Try to be short. But it's good. Okay, well, let's search for new insect. I keep and I search for insect as well okay. in my fol folder. Yeah. I showed this beetle, we are flying very fast. Okay. Wait, this is my animal and this is you. Where is your animal? Oh. It's an insert today again. Uh, right, right, right. Metallic one. I've never seen like that. Yeah. Very heavy. Usually some um, hymenopterists, they say, we have opportunity to make identification how insect is running. On behavior run, behavior run. So insert it is running, running fast, very yes. specifically, and jumping. We're fast running and jumping. And also we use antenna and active use mm. movement of antenna. Also very specific. And uh, shining, green shining and yellow yellow legs with tiny yellow legs. And with uh, insert it. Sometimes you know, possible to make experiment. 
is you can make a container, plastic container, and you can put inside container possible host. Possible. This is an experiment for parasitoid. You, you can search for host. If you have a living parasitoid, very important to give a little bit water, not a glass of water, but just a small piece of a cotton paper, small paper with water. So parasitoid can feed on water or a little bit water with honey. And you can cut some plants with possible host. For example, you know some uh, coccidae. Meal bugs? Yeah. So if you put small plants with a container, if it is correct host, correct host, and parasitoid usually just jump in, running near the host, and will search, will search with antenna for host, and maybe can lay eggs or can try to oviposit, to try to oviposit the host. So it can means that parasitoid is searching for host and trying to lay eggs. So this is a good experiment yeah. to collect parasitoid, collect host, and put them inside container. For example, it can be larva of beetle, can be egg of beetle. If you put egg of beetle and parasitoid, parasitoid will identify host with antenna and then turn around and lay eggs, or at least can try can try to lay eggs. So this is an interesting experiment. Even for science, it's possible to open the host, open the larva, open the egg, and search under microscope for the larva of parasitoid. So if you, uh, we cut, cut, cut the egg of host or cut the larva, inside will be very, very small larvae of parasitoid. So sometimes they're very new. Nobody didn't study them. So nobody didn't know how they look like. So it can be a new discovery and very careful study. Take a host egg, host the larva, cut it, open with needles, with tiny needles, under microscope with needles like two brushes. Open it and then look under microscope. And, and so with small, small, tiny, will be small, tiny eggs of parasitoid or larva of parasitoid. And it will be really good discovery for many species of parasitoids. Many larvae, larvae have not been studied. So nobody didn't find them because this is very, very careful study. Needs very, very careful observation. And most important to try to find host. And this is kind of like experiment. If you ca can collect host, uh, collect parasitoid in one area, it needs to study books to understand who is a possible host of this parasitoid. And then you can search on these plants for the host. And usually, because parasitoid is coming, par parasitoid is coming to the plant, and on plant, there is a host. So this is a connection. Parasitoid, plant, and here will be host. Or host may be under the plant, on, on the plant. Or maybe just we sometimes come into the plant. Needs to find good good time to find parasitoid and host in one time. So this is and usually plant is attracting both. On plant will be host and parasitoid. But it needs, as you said, very careful observation on, pl on oh, plant. I find one of them. Wait, let me send link. Wow. 
this one and this is a small parasitic bee I showed them the parasitic bee but with very long glossa very long t tongue you see yeah. this is parasitic bee which and uh, named cuckoo bee cuckoo bee but the glossa is close under the head and here I found that she became hungry and I put a piece of honey so bee became feeding on honey on Melecta parasitic bee but the family is apide on on Antophora, but Antophora is also uh, quite a big size bees. And later will be one. Okay, let's show you next insect if you have. Yes, I have. Ah, very nice. It's the spittle bug. So, are you right? Do it. What is the family you suspect? Right. So. Sarsopoidae. I wrote Sarsopoidae. Hi, Sarcopidae. Yes, Sarcopidae. So this is a small cicada. Uh, this is also common on grassy places, yes. not in a forest. In a grassy place, I guess. And circo uh, some uh, this is leaf ah, uh, it's they are called leaf hoppers, tree hoppers, leaf hoppers, leaf in English, leaf hoppers or tree hoppers. Hoppers means just jumping, jumping on leaves or on trees. And they, I guess, they lay eggs in two different cases. Or cicadelide. Cicadelide is the smallest of them. But cercopide, they lay eggs on the surface, on the surface of plants, and color them with some soft mm, excrements, like uh, like with so soft moisture. Sometimes we are making bubble bubbles. One species, if you yes. This one is making bubbles, I think. Some species living Fresh inside, food. inside, soft, in some soft bubbles for protection, for protection. Mm -hmm. So when it became like invisible or oh, ants do not come to them. Ants cannot penetrate bubbles. We don't like bubbles. And small and usually bubbles either for adults or for small larvae. So small larvae is a very tiny, will small wings and sitting inside under bubbles but eggs they making attach eggs on the surface of a plant and put it also some bubbles on this plant so they're like making small cover uh, and some there are some interesting egg parasitoids for this species I collected some eggs on 
on the bark of trees like a plum tree cherry tree in a springtime so if you search if you search for some bark on plum tree cherry tree you can see like a small like a dust like a dust on on, on bark but this is not a dust this is under this dust there are some small tiny eggs and these are eggs of probably of this family of leaf hoppers but cicadelide another family cicadelide leaf hoppers they lay eggs inside plant they cut plant or leaf and lay egg inside plant so different different behaviors or sometimes they lay eggs even inside or in, or on plant and plant is making close it and making like a gull mm -hmm. and larva will sit inside leaf or a small leaf hopper so lay egg, because larva is sucking uh, larva is sucking the juice juice of a plant plant and so leaf is just crawling 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 close it and inside will be small leaf hopper so leaf, because leaf hopper lay eggs here larva is coming eating and becoming inside like a in, in house living inside house but there are still uh, some parasitoids of eggs of these leaf hoppers and this is some species uh, well st already started but some species still unknown unknown new for science so eggs because it is difficult to find eggs of leaf hoppers because there's more or less spread needs careful attention attention to find eggs to search plants to look for plants and to search for some damages damages of plants or live on plants in against light against light so against sun so on this plant you can see some small dark places dark places or yellow places mm -hmm. so it means maybe this is egg inside tissue of plant or inside tissue of a stem and if you open stem if you cut the stem with a knife or with scissors you can see maybe egg or maybe a larva inside stem many many insects will like stems especially stems especially soft stems soft stems not not very hard but soft stem with a soft tissue inside so they lay eggs inside of these soft stems and it's possible for example to cut to cut the stem and to see what is inside the stem or if you find for example uh, some larvae or some eggs possible to cut cut the stem small pieces and put them in a bag in a bag or for example how to say like tissue bag like this one put them in, in a bag this is like a tissue bag so plant will slowly slowly dry and and i put here will be plant and here i can put emergence bag you see so will be like a bag and here just like a, a glass so all insects will come from plant come to here to the light yes so if we attach it so this is a box and they will go inside <coughs> or at least possible to put them in some kind of a plastic bag like in a plastic bag but in plastic bag more difficult because it needs attention to check if you use plastic bag with a zipper like a zipper closed very very easy to show mm. ah yes yes like this one this is a bag with a zipper yeah so we can put plant here inside so insect will come outside of plant and will be crawling here crawling here 
because it's transparent. Very important to put here sometimes plant and also put some toilet paper inside because plant will uh, make evaporation water. So will be small small drops of water. With toilet paper you can take off, clean it. You can clean it, water, and give again new new toilet paper. And here will be good enough like air for for plant for insects. So we can uh, develop a little bit. And then you can see, oh yes, yeah, very good. And you can use just small brush, small brush, and take them off maybe in small boxes, in small glasses. Easy to collect them, for example, in alcohol, because they will not jump. If you use alcohol, with drop of alcohol, you can clean, clean the plastic and put them in, inside alcohol. Easy to collect. But it's possible to collect even dry, but sometimes we are jumping. And very fast. Yes. So smallest easier to collect in alcohol. Seven maybe seventy percent, seventy or ninety percent alcohol. For study um, under microscope. Okay, good question. Good question. So and good idea about collecting of some leaf hoppers. Okay, let's let's search who what do we have? Something else? Mm. I have something. Okay. Show a little bit our screen time now. This is how it looks like now. Our places around city. So with all these uh, dandelions. Yeah, dandelions. Even there is a small, uh, small weevil beetle, curculeanide beetle. I don't remember if I told about it. One curculeanide is living inside this flower of dandelion. And one parasitoid is living on the larva of this, of this curculeanide. Curculeanide beetle is eating seeds and then later moving down through the stem, down, 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 and pupate under the ground. And so, if, and moving together with parasitoid. So they pupate under the ground and only emerged new weevils next, next year, next spring. And parasitoids will come also only next spring, only one generation. But biology is invisible because beetle larva inside flower and then later inside stem. This very, very simple stem of a dandelion. But larva is coming down under the stem and then pupate in soil. So usually people do not see them. And they're very small, maybe two millimeters. Not, not bigger, we're only two millimeters, very small beetle. But it is already studied by one of our Ukrainian colleague. So very interesting biology. And he is a very, very observative, very careful. He, did, he made this discovery of biology of this species. OK. You have. So you have one more video. Okay, let's let's show. It's another hopper. Okay, just wait. I... All right, I found my insect under microscope. Oh, very nice. I like it. Okay. Wait, 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 I show you. 
Yeah, very interesting hopper. And maybe about up to five millimeters. But we have a very yeah, interesting. So yeah, very small one. But we have a interesting behavior. And it's a nymph, nymph I think. Yes, like, looks like a larva. Wings are not uh, de developed yet. Yes. And what was the plant? On, did you collect uh, it on, on plant? Alpha alpha, I think. Do you know? Ah, right, right. Yeah. Yes. Good. So on, on this plant, this leafhopper probably lay eggs inside stems, mm -hmm. inside plant stems and li inside leaves between between some tissues of, of plant leaf. Epidermis, under under the epidermis, so eggs inside. And parasitoid, if parasitoid coming, can penetrate ep epidermis, lay eggs inside egg through epidermis, or can find small small piece of egg, small just a small piece of egg near just epidermis, and can lay eggs inside egg inside egg. But also there are some bitilide, drinide, drinide parasitoids, drinide parasitoids we were oh, like yeah. monkey. Pincher wasps, they called. Yes. We have a special legs, like mm -hmm. mantis. So like we, the fly, fly you uh, mentioned earlier. Yes, they right. Catch. They catch leaf hopper. We can catch a leaf hopper mm -hmm. and keep it, and lay egg on the body of leaf hopper, because it is a, a ex, ectoparasitoid on the body. Yeah, fully worried. So good, good animal. I like yeah. them very much. Yeah. Interesting to search for their behavior and also for places where do they lay eggs. If they live on plant, interesting to search where did they lay eggs. So some somewhere, somewhere because Larry hatched, so eggs should be here. And I started to show this small insect, and this is the trichogramma. Rama and noise of com my old computer. Wait, wait. So this is a male, windless male, with uh, no winds and a short antenna but left side this is a male genitalia and here is it really transparent like there's no color or here uh, already clean. The microscope? Uh, he's transparent because i already cleaned it from a mm. tissue i put it to potassium hydroxide mm. So that's why body is clean, just for microscopic study. And this is a male. Male needs for identification this small, this small tiny parts. Uh, male genitalia. Usually uh, it started under the uh, 1000 magnification, 100 objective. 100 objective, the biggest, the biggest magnification. Because here, small details of a genitalia, small tiny genitalia can be very narrow, very narrow, or maybe flattened, or with some small pieces, different shape. Can be wider, flattened, and if some plates have a different shape. So this is identification on the structures of a male genitalia. So this is trichogramma evanescence. Rama male. Uh, 
All right, yeah, yeah, subtitles. <laughs> And my my computer was very noisy here, right here in the laboratory. Okay, so today we had uh, many different insects. So you had a uh, last last one? No, but I can show the uh, wasp pupae I I mentioned. Let's show. Ah yes, before interruption. Yeah, it's on a website. It's on iNaturalist. iNaturalist. Okay, let's try. It. Let's try. It. So because here in StreamYard we can show pages. Yes. Okay, just for experience. Let's let's yeah, show. Let's try. Okay. Okay. See. Here we show just a page. Just a page. Yeah. Yeah, here this is like like a pupa. Pupa of Eulophida. Yeah, you showed me here this is a prostatus or tetrasticus. Eulophida. It is a different one, but I found it uh, on a plant. So you know I told you the uh, I hit the plant and uh, pupa came to my hand. Okay. So it's a uh, seed wasp. Uh, the truss. And the trustichine. Usually the trustichine. This is mm. Mm. usually they are parasitic. Most of them were parasitic. Maybe they ate already seed feeder. In many cases, we can eat seed eater, so you can open it. No, no host, no <coughs> phytophagous host, <coughs> but only pupa or larva of another one. So you think this is a primary parasitoid, but this is can be secondary parasitoid. <coughs> Okay. Do you have videos more? Uh, just I check. Uh. Uh. <coughs> yes. Here, yeah, this is another trichorama. Noisy one. Yeah, no, this is under microscope. Here we win, but also transparent body, and also this is a male. To check the male genitalia, but slightly different with a different antenna. Antenna is bigger. So here, as you see, on first individual antenna was very, very short. Here, mm -hmm. the size of a male is bigger, so more normal size. So here also, this is also trichorama. And under is bigger and seta is longer. So, and also wings, because if a trichorama laid two eggs in, inside one egg, uh, they became very small, smaller, not enough uh, space. So, Two males became very small, so antenna became very short, and no wings. So we had not enough food. But if one egg and one parasitoid, okay, normal size. Normal size with wings, normal antenna, and normal structure. Yes, okay. Just check what is. And here I show you. So as many of them because when I make a preparation I put them in a, in a drop of potassium hydroxide so I see many of them oh. 
So if you, you collect them with, uh, yellow pen traps? No, here they're from a laboratory culture. Hmm. So here from laboratory culture, so we're, we're bred on eggs of a moss. So, but I need to select only some males because here hmm. many, maybe 300, 300 individuals, but with needle, I selected only one by one. <clears throat> maybe it was only 20, 25 males. So you need for genitals. For genitalia, for hmm. genitalia. And here this is potassium hydroxide for cleaning body because body dark and with the muscles inside, with the fat, with muscles, with inside. But after cleaning, becoming only heating, heating cover, heating body. So easy to, sh to look inside on transparent microscope. So this is common procedure to study small parasitoids because everyone is here half of millimeter. So very, mm. very tiny, <coughs> 0 0.5 millimeter. <coughs> so this is normal procedure. Need to clean in the water, in the water, and then in a special liquid. In water from potassium, to clean them because potassium is dangerous. <coughs> and then just in special for, for a liquid or in Canada balsam. This is for microscopic slides. For a liquid, it's named for a liquid. Or can a special liquid called Canada balsam. Canada balsam. Or slide. In Canada balsam, it's called permanent, permanent slides, <coughs> permanent slides for long time. And here I make a magnification. But still, still this one here. This is male, male too, right? Sorry? Wing. This one is male too, wingless. Yeah. And sometimes. Some some individuals were with rudiments, rudiment, and it's it's interesting that if you have a large culture of insects, <coughs> it is possible to see some variation, <coughs> variation, and even possible to find genandromorphs. It means male and female together. Mm. Yes, in some cases, in some cases, it can be antenna, antenna of female with genitalia, genitalia, or it can be female body with antenna of males. <laughs> <laughs> <coughs> Not very common, very rare case, <coughs> but I found few individuals in Kinandromorphs. Body of male with genitalia, but antenna of female. Antenna of female. Yeah, Very long special. Uh, short. Uh, male long and female mm. short. Oh, okay. Female short antenna. <coughs> so, today this is a story about parasitoid. Parasitoids. Yeah, mostly. Mostly. Or at least a different one. And here some bubbles. So thank you for coming. Thank you for interesting video. Yes, thank you everyone. So did you collect something else? Just for future? Future streams? Uh, yes, the pupae I showed you. All right. I collected it. I'll see yes. if it's here re re or not. So now you can uh, use this method with uh, plastic plastic bags. Where uh, 
slightly more expensive than cheap plastic when cheap plastic from a shop mm -hmm. but in shop they're cheap and they're not transparent they're not transparent you see milky but here with a zipper plastic is a transparent very clean and zip is closed so nobody escape so nobody escape so if you put here plant toilet paper and it is good and some air put here some air like a bubble yeah. so and you can uh, <coughs> check it from time to time who is living on plant maybe some host so you can keep some host on plant and if a plant is rotating okay throw it away so this plant can be can destroy so you can open clean it underwater clean it again you can use it for next next visit to nature and in nature also in the field you can collect some samples it's called some samples so you can collect some plants some leaves make air and close it so so you can come to home look here oh someone is coming here because sometimes <coughs> insects were hidden inside plant you can collect some plants leaves <coughs> you can bring it together and say oh we just hatched for example <coughs> in uh, spring <coughs> this is a good play time to collect <coughs> atelabide weevils atelabide Labide on no no grape yeah grape on grape on cherry or for example on grape trees for example some astelabides are making kind of a special where you use a leaf we cut a leaf and they're making like a cigarette cigarette like tobacco cigarette and this piece of leaf is just you can find occasion occasionally not very often sometimes but only in the spring and beginning of the summer in some, on some trees so these leaves <coughs> and we have a shape, sometimes shape can be uh, very specific can be big, big leaves like this or it can be several leaves all together and eggs at the libido they lay eggs between leaves between leaves and this uh, it's called leaf package leaf package with eggs and eggs hatching and larvae is eating eating this leaf pack and becoming dry and after maybe two weeks leaf fall down fall down and overwintering <coughs> later some egg but but egg parasitoids they can be inside this leaf pack and larva is usually pupating in the ground or it can be some larval parasitoid and usually i collect these leaves and open it these leaves open it and i can see small one millimeter eggs one millimeter eggs for atelabide atelabide <clears throat> in turkish republic i didn't collect it i didn't find <clears throat> because i didn't i <clears throat> didn't have forest forest near my house near, near laboratory because many of these leaves were usually in forest in spring and june especially in the beginning of a spring <clears throat> and later all these leaves were fall down from trees fall. but i collect many usually at home in ukraine and other countries i collected many leaves inside plastic put pa toilet paper sometimes possible to put here just some you can put some paper you can put some paper here or also put some paper and 
in front of paper you can easy to see um, insects who is hatching and, and in front of white paper <coughs> and so parasitoids can come and can crawl here outside inside this bag especially for atelabida is interesting but i collected leaves in a, in a field in a forest still when i bring in at home already same day next next day parasitoids already hatched we not hatched they will be inside leaves because they are crawling down inside leaves they're sitting inside leaves i can bring them if i put it here they don't like it and after certain time they just crawling here already the same day of collecting <clears throat> but if i keep these leaves parasitized eggs so they are drying here slowly i take off um, toilet paper from time to time because for making some air like this because it's wet becoming wet mm -hmm. change change paper after maybe two weeks i can collect <coughs> new generation new generation of parasitoids so leaves will be here dry sometimes fungi come in sometimes fungi come in but for that i need refresh air and clean clean paper and after that <coughs> you see some egg parasitoids coming after two weeks of uh, keeping this package so and this is a good method for collecting mm -hmm. fresh and many many individuals of parasitoids because of rearing is the best way to get not one individual but many 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 individuals like in a bag here can be 10 individuals 20 individuals and they when it is a pack they are all alive they are all alive they will be crawling here i collect them with a brush <coughs> and they, and this species this genus poropea i, I write oh, oh yeah Egg parasitoids. It's called they are bigger. For three hagrama egg parasitoids, they are big. They are big. Uh, one millimeter. One, one millimeter is a big. Because three hagrama is a half millimeter. So one millimeter is a very big. And with, a, and with ovipositor. And uh, maybe half millimeter. Because our repository is needed to to search for egg inside plant inside plant. <coughs> so it can be interesting to find these egg parasitoids in your area, maybe just by case. If you search for some plants, search for you know, such leaf packs. Leaf I packs. have a forest nearby. Yeah, if you yeah, if you see right. if you see leaf packs. You can cut this leaf pack and make these packages for experiment. The same possible to make with some uh, in same packages like it's you can put here some leaves with caterpillars with caterpillars. So you can put here some leaves with small caterpillars like uh, uh, Gracilliridae beetles, Tortoriside beetles, caterpillars, uh, different small small moths because big moth may be not enough here fresh mm -hmm. air but but leaves with a small caterpillars or mm, leaf with a damaged part like like leaf mining cut leaf mining caterpillars leaf mining or you or tortured seed the tortured seed also not very big one centimeter maybe very tiny if you put here some leaves and check check it from time to time so we have a jail jail so we're just in police here we're here like in police and you are inspector you are just uh, inspector and collector and then later you can collect them in a small glasses i collect either dry or just in alcohol better i try to collect as i explain you in small pieces dry because they are very safe 
Okay, thank you. Thank you. It's a good idea to explain you about this methodology. Yes, I will try. Try. This is. I hope I can this, find. These packages very useful. Yes. Visit the shop and buy just now some number of these packages. They are very good for uh, entomology samples. You say samples. Very for very good for observation. You can you can put here some paper also inside some paper so easier to see small insects even some small insect 0 0.5 millimeter or even 0 0.2 millimeters can be crawling here some egg parasitoids of leaf hoppers were very small 0 0.5 0 0.2 very tiny <clears throat> so you can try okay i will okay no que special questions for people no no okay thank you for coming <coughs> thank you for coming uh well i was very pleased to explain you some uh, technique techniques yes thank you and, for it. and it was uh, pleasant that i explained it to you naturally naturally it means we showed each other some insects and naturally i explained you obviously about technology how to get them from the nation mm -hmm. not like to people say go to how to read them how to avoid insects no we need to get them yes. to collect them fast them. so try to search for them and try to bring them to your lab home laboratory i say home yeah. laboratory yeah small small piece of your home can be with like a small entomological laboratory and don't I forget use, to, I, I use my room yeah and don't forget to have a special notebook notebook because for notebook you need to cut your sample this mm -hmm. is very important and to write label and to write label where and when 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 did you collect it because after two weeks you, you will forget it mm -hmm. so don't forget it to cut small label and put it inside your sample this is very important label to be to be correct and to be precise precise write precise date time and place where did you collect and and maybe you can write what is the plant for example maybe you don't know maybe this is a plant because if you if you put here small stems later you cannot say what is it i forgot i forgot you say i forgot so the time i forgot what is the time i for maybe so try to be precise and make your records in your diary and sometimes you can make here even some picture yeah. this is very useful for biologists for entomologists you just write in something and making a picture writing writing making a picture so this is good for memory because first impression first observation we say is uh, the most <coughs> memorable say so most memorable you, you're just surprised oh very nice and later 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 you think mm, nothing special but first moment very special very special very interesting absolutely wonderful so <clears throat> make note picture picture and maybe a small drawing drawing this is very useful <clears throat> so thank you so but diary diary so you can make a diary i use a diary you can cut on separate columns separate columns you can write uh, for example in my diary i have one column date date and place then column plant here i write where did you collect something plant then observation column observation <coughs> i write it a column I usually i use it like this date plant observation and then next one 
Parasitoid, last one. Who was coming? Who was coming? So that's why I have one observation. This is sample number. Okay, first sample number, sample, date and pla place, plant, observation, and then finally parasitoid. Oh, oh who was coming? Yeah. Just uh, something new. So it's make a logical so logical so next time logic every page will be the same with some logics so you can check what did you collect here what place will be here and all diary will be the same this is very important i show you next time my original diary good idea okay. i will bring i will bring from laboratory to show you but this is a same structure number and place and date observation and uh, parasitoids, something like this. Okay, thank you. Any thank special you. questions? Mm, no, I think. Good enough. Okay, thank you for coming. Thank you for interesting videos. And thank you to be careful student. <laughs> so I tried to be teacher to explain you some te techniques. Yes. Uh, methodology. Thank you for being a good teacher. Yeah, so try to explain you some techniques, maybe can be useful. Because I see you're very observative, you're very careful. You can see small insects, small insects, very tiny. So not everyone can see it. Like um, in Facebook, I found one person, he's, he's in England, Hutchison. A young boy, maybe 17, 16, 17, 18, from England. But he put picture of my Marida on his Facebook logo. So it means he collected some my Marida and he likes it. So he, so he is very careful too. But you are very careful to see, to find, you found Encertide, Cercopide, and you see some three homer grandma. And even yes, and you are correct. You collected three grammar too. And how did you collect it? That beating tray. I ah. told you like uh, for example, this is a plate. Yes. Uh, you hit you hit the plant, yeah, or three, uh, insects fall off. Ah, and right, then right. you look to plate. You check, you check, mm. check the plate carefully. Uh, usually people use it like a, like it's called like a oh, um, umbrella, umbrella, yeah. like in rain, like in rain. But you turn back, make it like umbrella backside. But mm -hmm. umbrella usually black color or yellow color. But you, if you use just something white in umbrella, it can be like a piece of white, mm -hmm. white uh, tissue, white tissue. So you Usually, can see small insects. No, you can beat, beat small insects here, but only some of them fly very fast. So yes. my, it's hard to catch. We fall down and then jump, fall down, jump. Must be very, very careful and very, very fast to collect maybe with a brush. With brush and with piece of uh, alcohol wet brush and click 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 and collect them immediately so to be fast as possible fast as possible to be careful. but you collected very small one so thank you very much for your attention very interesting okay good good luck in your new observation in warm time in the good weather yes so, i will so uh, we can connect on email for people who who will come here. My email. I write my email for people who is, will be coming here. Gmail. This is for. All right. I put not here. In comments. In comments. No, you put it in.
private chat. Yes, yes, I, for, I forgot. Yeah, this, uh, this is my email for people who can watch us later in uh, recording mode. I was pleased to explain you some technology methods because it is uh, really useful and interesting. And yeah. I like X Houster. Mm, I don't have here immediately X Houster second second box box. Mm -hmm. for, for example, when my teacher uh, explained me how calcid wasps looks like, was very good experience when he showed me a houster, just with living insects. And all of them, it, this box was full of insects. And we were crawling, crawling here inside. He, he showed me and said, this is inserted there. I said, oh, very interesting. Crawling slowly. And this is Pteromalida jumping. And this is tiny Mimorida. Oh, very tiny Pimorida. And all together in uh, one box. So, but now we can make in this is online lesson. <laughs> yes. And this is uh, what ex my teacher, he is uh, Dr. Vladimir Trepitsin. And it was a long time ago. My teacher is uh, living now near Moscow. His son is living in the United States in California. He is also an entomologist. He is studying my marida. But Trip Vladimir Trepitsin, Dr. Trepitsin, he is living, he is on pension. He is now 92. 92. Mm. But he is still publishing papers. On Ansertida. On Ansertida. And he was very careful. He explained me. This is a very tiny Ansertida. So today you showed me, you showed me Ansertida in this online lesson. Yes. <laughs> and I showed you some Trihohramatide. Big and one. Thermale. <clears throat> yes, I said. Big one, one millimeter. Yes. And small one, three hologram, half of millimeter. It's okay. So Usually people do not see them, but I can see even three hologram in a field. <laughs> in correct, in correct places, in correct places, not just flying. Yeah. Line not difficult to see because it's like a mm, plankton, like plankton. Yes. We're flying like plankton. But if we're sitting, possible to see. Yeah. Because another entomologist, one entomologist, <coughs> as I explained you last stream, he collected insects on window, on window in a rain, in a train. In a railway train. So probably insects were also very small. But he was very careful to find them even just in the railway train on the window. So so thank you for coming, Akif. Thank Be careful. Be healthy. Yeah, you too. <laughs> this is in this time it's very important. Yeah. Uh, be optimistic, support your family to be optimistic. So thank you for, be, for being a good student on this online lesson. Thank you for teaching me, my okay. good teacher. Thank you very much. So hopefully uh, we can meet next time. We can manage our schedule and set a lesson on certain time and can connect. Maybe we had interruption. I'm not sure. Maybe I put several video before and they blocked my operational memory in computer. I, mm -hmm. I'm I think so. Maybe this was a problem of operational memory of computer. Computer just became frozen. Yeah, maybe so, so I will be more careful. Put little bit video several video one by one mm. <clears throat> like like this
But at least it is experience. So we need to know. We will, we will learn. Yes, right, right. Okay, thank you. Searching for, so let's go to the field sometimes and search for parasitoids. Yeah, when I collect a new one, and I will show you and show you some my uh, notebook dictionary. I will okay. remind you. Okay, thank you for coming. Thank you too. See you. Good luck in collecting and recording new insects. Thanks. Okay, good luck. Bye. Bye.